Other interesting political news, you have Ray Epps gets fined only $500 in community service for January 6th, further fueling the theory that he is in fact a Fed. Now, again, if you go to, we'll play a quick little video of him. This got brought to a lot of people's attention thanks to Greg Price over on X Twitter. And Greg Price said, quote, Breaking, Ray Epps, the only January 6th protester who actually told people to go into the Capitol, has been officially sentenced to serve one-year probation, $500 restitution, and 100 hours community service, while, Jan while many January 6th protesters are rotting in jail for nonviolent crimes. Epps escapes a prison term entirely, unquote. Which is true. They were literally arresting grandma because she walked into a building and was escorted by armed guards. They actually opened up the doors. We know this thanks to Tucker Carlson re releasing a lot of this footage. He had, he had video of police opening doors and guiding three people through the building. And yet a lot of those people are stuck in solitary confinement for months, I and mean, even I believe almost a year in some cases. And we'll play this quick little video of Ray. Let's see here. And again, this got 2.6 million views in 24 hours, as well as 20,000 likes. And without further ado, of him a lot of people are protesting there at the fence and you have Ray Epps turning to someone and whispering something and after he whispers something then the crowd actually pushes the fence towards the police and at that point it looks like the fence falls down and then they just go all in And you have Ray Epps running in. So you had people who are on podcasts just talking about stuff. They got sentenced to prison. And just opposed to this, he's on the ground in front of people at the Capitol telling people to go in. And he gets no jail time? A $500 fee? Really? That, that is the most blatant slap on the wrist I think I've seen in my life. That's almost as ridiculous as the two wait, two morally deplorable, mentally vacuous people who burned down to Wendy's, and I think they're they're only fined like a hundred or five hundred dollars as well. You can guess their political affiliation, I'm sure. And yet, five hundred dollars? That's it? While other people are rotting in jail for just talking, and he's pushing around. I mean. Of all the examples where you can say this person is inciting violence, this person is yelling at people that they're going to go in, and the police are at the blockade, he's telling them to go in, he whispers something, and they all push forward. I would think of all the cases, this would be the one where they actually have a grounds to actually prosecute him. But perhaps I'm alone in this assessment. Maybe there's, maybe this just gets ratioed on the Twitter X, and you know everyone's they, they think, you know, you should have gotten no, not even a dollar fine. But let's dive in the comments and find out. Now, Greg Price is the first comment, so he replied to himself saying, quote, For reference, the average sentence a January 6th defendant has received is three years. For those who receive guilty pleas like Epps did, it has been two years. Yet, for the, some reason, this guy who instigated the Capitol riot has escaped with probation and community service, unquote. 
They got 3.1 thousand likes. Elon Musk chimed in and Elon said, quote, this verdict does seem weirdly weak, unquote. They got 5.7 thousand likes. And then Greg Price responded to Elon and Greg Price said, quote, not only that, but he was able to phone in to his sentencing hearing, whereas most of January 6th defendants had to be present in the courtroom, unquote. I got 2.3 thousand likes. And again, it looks like he certainly is being treated specialty to say the least. Julia says, quote, tell me again how Ray Epps isn't a Fed, unquote, getting 1.4 thousand likes. There's a lot of, what do you call it? What is that term? A little cartoon caricatures of Ray Epps being a planted, like a tree, being planted in the ground. It has his name, Ray Epps, and his money on the ground. And the text says, a Fed plant. That got 310 likes, though. Let's see here. Big Fish says, quote, we should subpoena all the phone records of Ray Epps. You know his locations. And there's a lot of people taking videos, and Ray Epps just happens to be standing around. They got 895 likes. Paul Sushifa says, quote, if Ray Epps wasn't a Fed, he wouldn't have been sentenced to dec... He wouldn't... He would have been sentenced, sorry, to decades in jail like the rest of the January 6th descendants, unquote, getting 654 likes, which, yeah, there certainly is a big discrepancy between his sentence and everyone else. Do a couple more here. Sam J says, quote, the left walks away no matter what they've done, two-tiered corrupt justice system in America, unquote. As a picture of Jesse Smollett in the caption says, quote, if January 6th was a person, unquote. And he, of course, was the mentally, morally vacuous actor who pretended and faked being attacked in Chicago by MAGA Republicans. Which, and holding, while well, he was just holding onto his Subway sandwich. Which, the first big flag, red flag in that instance was MAGA wearing, hat wearing Republicans in Chicago. Yeah, those, yeah, that doesn't exist. That juxtaposition of that text and Jesse Blake got 729 likes. See here, Big Brother says, quote, the feds and their D.C. court counterparts aren't even trying to hide it anymore. January 6th was an inside job, unquote, getting 401 likes. Let's see here. Sarah Hingdon says, quote, this will be scrubbed from his record and you won't have to do any of that. That is clearly a public-facing show to say he can't be a fed. He was prosecuted, unquote. Got 262 followers. Sassafrasa84 says, quote, this infuriates the hell out of me. Two-tiered justice, unquote, getting 263 likes. Stop Woke Culture says, quote, unbelievable. Epps is a fed, unquote, getting 369 likes. Woke Society says, quote, absolutely effing joke of a justice system we have in this country, unquote, getting 590 likes. And as I scroll down, oh, Zero Dad says, quote, ask a Democrat if it was Alex Jones doing what Epps did on video, would it be the same outcome, unquote? I got 55 likes, and yeah, that brings about a good point. Alex Jones was fined at trillions of dollars by simply talking on a show about conspiracy theory. I believe it was actually like 1.3 trillion or some, it's more than the GDP of most countries. And it's clearly meant as a punishment and to send a message. And yeah, in this case, again, this guy has the biggest slap on the wrist I've ever seen in my life. Let's see here. And uh, this keeps rolling more and more. I don't see really any. I'm not seeing any contrarian statements like you normally do. I mean, this is almost the reverse ratio, as some might say, or the reverse Chris Christie, where we do have a phenomenon where Chris Christie, it's actually fascinating. There are some times where he will post something on X Twitter and will get zero positive responses, which is statistically impossible. It's presumably he has family, friends, a campaign staff, maybe. And yet sometimes he gets zero positive responses. This is the antithesis. This has pretty much everything is just positive and agreeing with the original statement perhaps because of the overwhelming evidence and perhaps just common sense. So it'll be interesting to see if we just get this filtered, I was going to say it's not even filtered, watered down justice, this moderate illusion of justice where, again, he got the biggest slap on the wrist I've ever seen in my life. I can't but think this will just erode what little faith there is in the justice system. And it'll be interesting to see at the end of the day, do we actually hear the truth about Ray Epps in terms of his actual involvement in terms of, did he have, was he following orders by someone else, most likely? Yeah, I mean, was, from, it'll be interesting to see if we ever, at the end of the day, find the real truth about Ray Epps. Thank you again, everyone, for taking the time to tune in today. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of January, so if you click that button, I really appreciate it. 
Also, leaving a thumbs up and a comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, so let me know how I can improve the quality of the show. Also helps with the YouTube algorithm and helps some more people see it. Also, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.